Good morning, this is Darek from Let's Polish and today I'm going to show you five Polish proverbs, sayings that you have to know. All right, maybe you don't have to, but it's good to know them. I believe you have some friends, some Polish relatives, so you can ask them if they know these five proverbs. Przysłowia powiedzenia, this is what we say in Polish. So let's start with this one, Polak potrafi. Uh, Polak, for some of you, this word sounds funny, right? Because Polak, in the USA especially, you think it's something inappropriate. For some of you, Polak, this word, sounds offensive. Am I right? Let me know in the comment section. But in fact, Polak, this is the official word for a Polish man. Yes, then Polakiem. But let's get back to the topic. Polak potrafi means that a Pole, a Polish person, is capable. All right, and I don't know what that means anyway. So let me explain. Potrafić, the infinitive, means to be capable of something. For example, potrafię pływać. Literally, I can swim. Potrafię latać. I'm a liar, just kidding. So this is a praise of ingenuity, cleverness, resourcefulness. You could use it when you do something from nothing. Let's say I've made a water-powered engine from old pipes, wires and some elements of a lawn mower. In this case, my friend could say Polak potrafi. Sometimes we use it as a joke, jokingly. When you do something poor quality, like lousy, or as we say, fusherka, farge or barge job, but it works anyway, you could say Polak potrafi. So every time you'd like to compliment your friend, his or her ingenuity, you can use this phrase Polak potrafi. Another one. Co się odwlecze, to nie uciecze. Uciecze, in this case, it sounds so weird, even for us. I believe it's an archaism, because we should say Co się odwlecze, to nie ucieknie. But in this case, it works that way. You know, in English, and I believe in your language, it works the same. Sometimes you have some proverbs, and this word, this particular word, you can use only in this case, right? So let's try to translate this sentence. What is delayed will not escape, will not run away. Odwlekać means to delay, but sometimes also to procrastinate. Nie odwlekaj tego. Zrób to teraz. Do it now. Make the decision now. To powiedzenie oznacza. If you haven't achieved something now, it's still within your reach. You can still achieve it. But maybe not now, you have to wait for it. So maybe you can calm down somebody that way. Co się odwlecze, to nie uciecze. Be patient. Or you forgot about something. Not today, but co się odwlecze, to nie uciecze. Another one. Co cię nie zabije, to cię wzmocni. And almost, word by word, we could translate it as what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. For example, potassium cyanide. Personally, this phrase is a bit weird and I do not believe it. I know, sometimes it sounds so romantic, so poetic. You've lost your job, you are depressed, but Co cię nie zabije, to cię wzmocni. And of course, in some cases, it makes sense, but not always. Like every single bad experience gives us something. So here we could agree. But this one is so, so stupid. or oh, stupid. Lepszy ryc niż nic. Ryc, it's a mushroom. Lactarius delis deliciousus. Deliciousus. Saffron milk cup. And I know that personally, but this one is very tasty. So I would love to find a lot of them. And this phrase says better the mushroom than nothing. Which means you didn't get what you wanted, but here's your consolation prize. Here you go, don't cry. It really makes no sense because I believe everybody would like to find this one. I mean, we Polish people, we love to pick up mushrooms. Mushroom picking or mushrooms hunting. We say zbieranie grzybów. So when you get less than you expected, you can say lepsze ryc. Nizhnitz. They told you, you will make $1,000. In fact, you got only 200 bucks. Lepsze ryc niż nic. But my real goal would be to get this ryc. If I got ryc, I would be like, that's fantastic. It's so rare these days. And it's so tasty. So my theory is that uh, this phrase works that way only because it rhymes. Lepsze ryc niż nic. Let's finish this episode with this one. I'm about to explain it and maybe to give you some examples. But before that, if you like this episode, if you like my channel, if you like Let's Polish, you can do something like this. It costs you nothing. Then you can subscribe to my channel. You can stay with me a bit longer. I believe I will inspire you. I will give you some Polish knowledge. Bez pracy nie ma kołaczy. Kołacz, this is 
we oh like english w we kołacz is a type of cake something like this bez pracy without work like you don't work nie ma kołaczy you don't have it it's plural kołacze so you don't have them if you want to make some money if you want to eat you have to move your back we could say it's a gratification of diligence you could say that phrase to somebody who is lazy bez pracy nie ma kołaczy rusz się weź się do roboty or you could also highlight that you are hard working pracuję ciężko bo wiem że bez pracy nie ma kołaczy i'm not ashamed of my job maybe it's hard maybe it's not the best job i could have but I do it because I know bez pracy nie ma kołaczy. A bez reakcji nie ma let's Polish. So remember about that. Bye bye. See you next time.